Good evening and welcome to the next gen Paramax Group A1 tour as this is season 17 of next gen and the penultimate round of the series round number 9 of 10 so we head to Willow Springs and we're in the BMW M1 Pro car uh, this is a top 4 reverse grid which means that the top four in the championship will not qualify uh, well I say not qualify, they'll be setting certain times so they start at the back of the pack in reverse order uh, meaning that Jack who's on our screens and will be in the commentary box I believe he is here I am indeed, good evening everyone Evening Jake um, He'll be starting at the back because he is our league leader mm. So a, a tough job in hand for tonight, but uh, it should be a fun one round here. Yeah, it's it's a bit it's a bit of a pressure cooker for me tonight because I know that if things go the way that they could go, I could win tonight the championship. So I'm a little bit on edge, I have to say. <laughs> you know, season nine, just saying, <laughs> it's been that long. <laughs> So you will go for an onboard lap with someone shortly. Just sending out the link to the next gen group. I'm sure Cam will be pretty quick tonight. He was pretty swish round in the North Slifer when we were last in the M1. So I reckon he'll be on for a quick, quick time or a quick race speed anyway. Trying not to ruin Shadow's Stalker's lap if I can, but. <laughs> uh, right, so I'm racing. What's up? What's See, up? we have thirteen people in the lobby. Uh, Twelve people in the lobby. We have D White House Seven. I think we've lost G. Oh, no, there's GT Five Vass. D White House Seven. GT Five Vass is returning. Cam one two three days who's still in the pits. Four fish. Uh, Web user Johnny, Traumatic Dave, Riley Matt, The Les, Big Bloody B, Shadow Stalker, Tim, and Ozzy Jack, Team 53 Synopsis. We're only got our 12 runners for the night. We are, of course, on the Big Willow circuit, 2.5 miles long, 4.02 kilometres. And eleven corners greet us tonight. Let's f have a quick look at the standings. So obviously Jack is leading the championship at the moment. He's on 136 points uh, with Cam on 120. Uh, Fourfish is on 110 with the Les on 107. Adam Morris is on 104 with where he's a Johnny on 91. D White House 7 is on 68 with Rally Matt on 58. Big Bloody B is on 49 with Shadow Stalker on 46. Peter Nard Jamesy is on 42 with Traumatic Dave 33. Bob Mark 1 29. Tim 28. Bui Daz 24. Boy Grexer 21. Uh, Mix, Mix W on 19. AMH 16. Tyner House. 9 and Cobra 2012 on 4 you there Jack locked up at the moment um, Jack did you say you could win it tonight is that including the drop score it is indeed yeah Ooh, I'm going to load up my tables then so I can have a miss around during the race um, where's Rally Matt's currently sat on pole position by two seconds to Traumatic David? One minute twenty point eight. That's a pretty good time, actually. That from uh, from Matt. Nearly pressed the wrong button. Then that would have been terrible if I'd accidentally left. I'm gonna go on board with with Matt. So up to the casual corner, the first corner, down to third gear. Keep it nicely tucked in, and you can really power out of it into the rabbit series. Ultra long, medium speed right hander, keeping it in fourth for Matt. Picking up 
throttle halfway through and then a little lift again to make it turn because it tightens on the exit. Matt's just gone a little bit wide. He's going to get away with it though. Into turn three, down to third. Again, a late apex. Down to second even for Matt on the apex as we then flick it right into the Budweiser balcony. Second gear, use as much as as possible. Probably too much there for Matt, dipping the left wheels into the gravel, gravelly grass. The flick left, just third gear. You need to be smooth through there so you can get a run over the Monroe Ridge. Down towards the wing's leg, this flat left-hander, and then you enter the flat right of the sweeper. Just keep it absolutely pinned. You match just a little bit wider potentially than I would normally go. Then you're going to be into this really difficult right-hander for turn nine. Again, horrible apex, and Jack can probably vouch for that. Um, it's a really hard one to spot, so getting your braking point there is absolutely vital as Matt goes quickest once again with a 119.2. It's a good lap. That's also a good lap for Big Bloody Beer as well. So all the drivers who were in and around... Dean Whitehouse has done an 18.7. That is a good lap. So Dean Whitehouse looking to make a name for himself at the moment. Johnny's even in second on a 119 flat as well. This is really impressive. In fact, the yeah. top, top six are separated by 1.3. This could be a really close competitive race tonight. Yeah, I mean, Traumatic Dave is in, in sixth as well. That's a great effort by himself. Obviously, he does like the M1 Pro car. It is, a, it, is a, it is a favourite of his. Full temp slower on his current lap at the moment. I'm just waiting to see what GT5 Vass does. He's two temps up. Going through turn number, what, well, I think it's number eight, I think number nine, yeah. People of these bees done for the day, rally mats in the weeds. What about Johnny? He's up on his best time as he comes around the final corner. Through turn nine he comes. And he does go quicker, but only by 27 thousandths of a second. So he's still in the 19s at the moment. Neither D. Whitehouse, Webb uses... In fact, if you look at the top six drivers, none of them have ever had a pole position before in the Group A1s. That's, that's surprising, especially D. Whitehouse, actually. I'm, I'm surprised D. Whitehouse hasn't had one before. No, looking looking at the drivers, obviously Webb user Johnny got his breakout win at Brands Hatch. I know EY also want to try and join him in that one. Rally Matt had two podiums this season. Uh, Big Bloody B has been getting more and more impressive. I think we remember Jordan at Nordschleife, he was part of that big tr train in the first two laps. So he's one to watch. Uh, GT5 Vass as well, obviously won on his debut way back in season number five so or rather than season number six so the 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 only race winner inside the uh, the top eight or rather the only or the second of the two race winners in the top eight that are allowed to qualify he's just got caught up there behind i think that's dramatic dave he was six temps up gt5 that i suspect he's going to go quicker but not as quick as he could have Who's the third? He lost two temps there. Did GT5 pass as he came through the final corner, so he could have been on the front row. It's going to come down to Johnny and D Whitehouse by the seams of it for that pole position, unless Rally Matt or even Traffic Dave could do anything. Shadowstock's on a good lap as well. He's just coming yeah. around the final corner. J just following him. Oh, he's gone a bit wide. That's going to cause him a bit of an issue. He kept his foot in it, though. He's done well. He's ahead of Tim. That's not bad, considering the last corner there from Shadowstalker. He lost half a second because of that mistake as well. So he can get into the 20s. That'll be really competitive from Shadowstalker if he can make that. Dave's going to make it to the chequered flag, just about. 
he gets another lap. Can't be I doesn't. Rally Matt's seen the flag. So Rally Matt's currently in second. We've got Traumatic Dave on his final lap through turn nine up towards the line. Doesn't okay. improve his position. Shadow Stalker could be the next man, man to crop along. He's the only one now who can stop D. Whitehouse from getting his first ever pole position. Two and a half temps up, comes around the final corner, not on the gravel this time, so he's definitely going to improve. Is he gonna is he gonna stay seventh? Oh he does, and he gets into the twenties, Jord. That's good stuff by him. Two seconds and covering the top seven. Uh so it's just D Whitehouse to come along. So, the grid for Willow Springs, round nine, the penultimate round of this championship. D. Whitehouse takes pole position and that credited bonus point that comes with it. Rally Matt lines up alongside Johnny, third. Vass is in fourth. Uh, Big Bloody B, fifth. Traumatic Dave, sixth. Shadow Stalker, seventh, with Tim in eighth. The Layers will start ninth with Four Fish, tenth. Cam, eleventh. And Jack, TM53, synopsis, will start at the back. Bruce Lee Harding watching. Obviously, unfortunately, um, even though Bruce isn't competing in the Group A1s, he won't be competing in the other leagues either. It should be more explained later on. Uh, but that's your starting order. Uh, I've just been trying to work out how the championship sits. Obviously with Jack's um, admission of... Uh, he could potentially win it. He can do. So if Jack finish, if Jack wins tonight, um, I believe no matter what Cam does, I believe that puts him at champion status. Now obviously I'll try and keep an eye on it during the race and see how it all pans out. But obviously they've got one drop score that we have to account for. Um but we have to consider that Cam finishes as high as possible um and he'll take the win pole position fastest lap at Alton Park in a week's time. But for now let's get underway here. 12 drivers, 10 laps, BMW M1 Pro Cars. We have three red lights. We're green for round nine of the Paramax Group A1s. It's a good getaway from Rally Matt on the outside. He's provisionally taking the lead going into turn one. Although D Whitehouse on the inside will reclaim that one quite easily. Everyone through the Castrol corner into the rabbit's ear. Bit of contact there between Unless someone's gone flying off. That looks like Big Bloody B. And a big pile up at the back of the pack. That is tra Traumatic Davis round. Tim is part of it. Cam123 Diz is also part of that as well. So a big accident through the rabbit's ear. And that has really dented Cam's hopes in the championship. D White House 7. Still needs a bit of a wiggle from Johnny behind. He's going to have GT5 Vass alongside. GT5 Vass goes through. Into third place. There is Big Bloody B. Jack is right up his boot. As they head into turn nine, Big Bloody B very wide, almost clipping the... The dirt on the outside, that could have been a little bit horrible for him, but he's pulled up to the left-hand side. Jack's gone through into eighth place. 
A flash of the lights from Jack, probably because Big Bloody B knows there wasn't any point fighting that one. As D White House 7 still leads. GT5 fast under attack though from Johnny. Johnny up the inside. There's a bit of door rubbing as we head into turn three. Johnny just about getting the move done. As they go into the Budweiser balcony. But Johnny going slightly wide out of the balcony. He's luckily kept it on the line. And Vass has been unable to make the move. In the background there is Shadows. Oh, he's got full fish just ahead. The Les has made his way up into fifth. Meanwhile, DY House is becoming a little bit more pressured from behind now. Matt just three tenths behind as they go into turn nine. Matt's off. Matt's gone onto the grass. That's a very good save from Rally Matt. That could have sent him straight into the outside barrier. He's managed to keep it somewhat in check, but he's now lost a lot of time. And D.Y. Harris has a lovely eight tenth gap to Johnny, who's now in second place. So everything just coming down slightly. We're going to keep an eye on this battle. Rally Matt and the Les. Bit of a touch through the rabbit's ear. As they go up towards the Budweiser balcony. Good side by side action from these two here on lap number three. As they go still side by side out of the balcony. As they head towards Monroe Ridge. And the Les finally gets the move finished. But four fish just behind won't want to hang around here. As it sits, Jack would Jack will be champion as it sits. Because if we consider Jack not... Oh, that's someone off in the background. That looks like Big Bloody B has gone off. Promoting Cam into ninth place. Moves Jack up into seventh. Johnny goes down the hill. GT5, Vass in tow. Over Monroe Ridge, down towards the wings leg and into the sweeper. Four to nine and Webb, you said Johnny's gone off. At turn 9, this time has gone a lot worse compared to Rally Matt. He's going to lose a lot more time, I think. And he spun it to the inside. Johnny having a merit into the fence. On the ridge. Still kept it absolutely pinned, but he's now behind Rally Matt. Down into 6th place. But it's not over yet because GT5 Vass is now coming alongside D White House into the, the rabbit's ear. Couldn't make the move on the outside work as they head towards the Budweiser balcony section. Here on lap 5 of 10. Nothing doing then for GT5 Vass. Bruce Lee Harding, Johnny would need to pay to get back in. He, he, he'll definitely have to find his ticket, that's for sure. <laughs> that was a long way off for for Johnny. He's still in sixth place, so he's still in good stead. 
but uh, whilst we continue to let this leading battle develop, just explain how we'll know if Jack is the champion or not tonight. Uh, obviously, every driver gets one drop score. Now, if we say that Jack's drop score is a zero because he doesn't compete or ends up retiring from Alton Park for whatever reason, um, and we consider, we'll consider whatever he scores tonight, that is the minimum he can score. And then the next thing we have to do is basically consider that Cam wins, takes four points from Alton Park, plus whatever he gets tonight, which would include his drop score. Now he's got a drop score of eight points so far. So as it stands, if it was to finish on this lap, Jack will have a minimum of 146 points, and Cam can only get a maximum of 143. Which would mean that Jack would win and become champion with a round to spare. But Cam is now up into 8th place. There he is. It still isn't enough. As it stands. Can goes across the line in 8th place, still going well, he's a long way from Jack though. Vass, there's Ruddy Matt and Fourfish having a bit of a battle on their side by side coming through Budway's balcony. That is... Johnny, I believe. No, that's Vass. Vass has lost it through the left hander after the Budweiser balcony. That drops it down to third. The Les is now up into second. As Matt goes side by side with Four Fish into turn nine. Four Fish backs out of that. Knows there's no point going for it. He might have a good run coming out though. Down towards the Castrol corner, but Matt might get a bit of slipstream here from Vass. Into the Castrol corner. This is lap 8 of 10 already. We are nearing the end of this race. Through the rabbit's ear. I believe NGR Tim has retired from the race, unfortunately. Bit of a shame for Tim, but uh, yeah, I don't think he was having a nice race out there. Looking at the mini map, Matt getting a bit squirrely coming into the Budweiser balcony. He's wide as well coming out of the exit up to Monroe Ridge. It's cost him the place to fall fish. Matt's not going to be happy with that. He's been running wide on a lot of corners here at Willow Springs. He's not really happy. He's very unforced errors as well from the number 76 machine. This is your leader though. It is D White House 7. The number 8. Followed by the Lairs now. Lairs having a cracking race up into second place in the race from near the back. But this is the battle we're going to have to continue to watch because even though they're a bit spread out now, they might close up on the final lap. Between GT5 Vass, Four Fish, and Rally Mass, where Les is gradually closing in on D White House. As it stands, the minimum points Jack can get now for the season is 146, the maximum for Cam is 144. Jack is currently the champion elect in his current position.
for Fish going through the sweeper and turn nine we're going to Focus our attention to Les in second place. He's only three tenths behind. On to the final lap we go here at Willow Springs. Oh, Les has dipped a tyre onto the grass under braking. That's not what you need. It's cost him about three tenths there. Got to be careful. GT5 Vass has decided his car is going to become a kangaroo. It's in the wrong country for a kangaroo. He is having a little bit of issue there with some lag. Les is all over the back of D. Whitehouse on this, the final lap as they head out of the Budweiser balcony, down towards Monroe Ridge. Through the final corner, it's going to be D.Y. House 7 who takes the win here at Willow Springs. A lights to flag finish. The Lairs finish his second, don't believe the timing. GT5 Vass will come home to take the po final podium spot in third. Four Fish will be in fourth. Rally Matt, fifth. Webby's a Johnny will come home in fifth. But it's this man, Jack TM53 Synopsis, who finishes seventh and will now be confirmed the champion of season 17 group a ones count unfortunate for him he's put up a good fight this season but not quite enough traumatic dave will finish in 10th and shadow stalker I'm home for 11th place for himself So, D. Whitehouse 7 wins the race from the Les. GT5 Vass is in third. Four Fish, fourth. Rally Matt, fifth. Johnny, sixth. Jack, our champion, in seventh. Cam, one, two, three, Deers, in eighth. Traumatic Dave, ninth. Big Bloody B, tenth. Shadow Stalker, eleventh. And NGR Tim rounds us out. He retired after three completed laps of the race, which is a bit of a shame for him. But nonetheless, what a race. And we have our champion to celebrate. Hopefully he'll rejoin the uh, chat. Hello. And congratulations. According, according to my math, you've technically won the championship. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. Uh, well, according to my math, uh, and I'm pretty sure it's certain is right, um, Cam, if he was to win and get a 420 next time around, because obviously it's a Turbo Monday, uh, he can only get a maximum of 144 points. You already have 146, and that is without a result next week. <laughs> so... You are, uh, obviously it's unofficial until the tables come out, but you are, according to my maths, the Season 17 Group A Paramax champion. Uh, cover your ears for a minute, Jord. Yes! <laughs> 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 Um, Damn time! <laughs> uh, Damn time! <laughs> yes! And some people say it's only a video game. Um, <laughs> oh, um, yeah, according to my mouth, you are the champion, so congratulations, mate. It's been a fantastic run. Um, uh. And to be fair, Cam's put up one hell of a fight. 
but you've managed to uh, you've managed to do it with a round to spare. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, mate, I can't believe it. <laughs> it's been so long. Is it, am I correct in saying this is your first Group A win on Project Cars 2 Championship? It is, yeah, yeah, it is, man. Oh, my God. I can just see so many near misses just disappearing into thin air. Finally! <laughs> oh, I want to scream, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it in a minute when, when we go off whilst we set up the uh, modern touring cars. Um, but yes, yeah, so that is the end of the Group A ones for tonight. Um, in about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes time, we'll have the modern touring cars, which is a first, uh, a jack, it's a first for the modern touring cars. Uh, we head to Road America, which is not a first. But everyone's in the V8 supercar, the Ford Falcon V8 supercar. So it's not one to be missed. It should be an absolute belter of a race. Um, next week, for the Group A1s, we head to Alton Park Foster's, the natural finale, um, where I'm sure everyone will be going guns blazing um, with the championship. Unofficially wrapped up tonight. But do join us next week for that. But for myself and everyone, thank you to Paramax for sponsoring the league. And thank you guys to for watching tonight. Do stay tuned. As I said, there'll be a new stream for the modern touring cars up shortly. But from the Group A1s, good night.